Okay, just a regular guy here. I'm trying out that uh, regenerating batteries using an arc welder thing. Okay, so what I did is I got these six batteries that I was using with my solar system. Uh, they're kind of pooping out on me. So what I did is I uh, I took them and I graded them according to the uh, their voltage and their um, what do you call that uh, the uh, the, the cranking, uh -huh, the cranking power, and what I did is I graded each one of the batteries. So this is sort of like the strongest battery, then this is the next one, and then this is one down at the bottom is the weakest. This one was uh, only 47 volts, and uh, when I put the cranker thing on it, it just kept going down, down, down to like nothing. Um, the interesting thing is I got two types of batteries here. I got these. Uh, these Trojan black and I've got these Trace uh, T235s and uh, these two Trojan batteries here I bought them and I never used them I just had them sitting around and I never got around to using them and they got totally totally went totally bad on me I mean you can see they're all like swollen up here at the at the positive posts um, just from being just from sitting around so I mean don't ever do that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, they're all They've all been filled up with water, they've all been cleaned off, they've all been tested. Um, and now I'm going to put the arc welder on. I'm going to do five minutes. They're six volt batteries, so I'm going to put the arc welder on for five minutes and then ten minutes off. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I put them on for, put them on for five minutes at 40 for one round. Then I went five minutes at 100 for one round. And five minutes at 140 for one round, and then five minutes at 150, and I did that three times. And what I would do is I would do one battery, right, for 40, and then I go on and do another battery for 40, and a third battery for 40, and that would give the first battery time to cool off. So that's kind of how I did it. And then after doing three batteries, you know, doing all this with three batteries, then I went on to do the other three batteries. And I had some uh, interesting results. Okay, battery one, which was supposedly the uh, the best battery. Um, yeah, I mean the voltage went up to 6.33, and the crank went up to weak okay. Instead of just weak, it went weak okay, which is at around 5.8 volts. After 20 hours, it was the same, so it didn't drop. So it seemed to have improved a little bit. It went from weak and cranking at 5.5 volts and it went up to weak okay at 5.8 volts. Uh, the second battery, basically it stayed the same. The voltage, okay, it went, went from 6.04, the voltage went up to 6.28, but uh, the crank was the same. It, it stayed in the weak zone, so it didn't really improve the battery. The uh, third battery, um, again, okay, the voltage went up to 6.25, and it went from bad all the way up to weak okay. So this one look, was looking pretty good. I mean, it, it, did a, it improved a fair amount. It went from a bad battery up to a weak okay battery. Uh, the next morning, 20 hours later, I checked it, and it had already gone down a little bit to weak. So, you know, right after doing this, you might have an improvement, but if you leave it for 20 hours, 24 hours, and who knows uh, if it's actually going to come back, okay? Um, over here at this battery, the fourth battery, let's see, what do we got here? Um, yeah, it, all, it went from bad, a bad battery to a weak battery, and then after 20 hours, it stayed the same. It stayed at weak. This battery... What had happened is this cell just smoked like crazy and bubbled and the other two cells didn't um, didn't bubble at all so I just I, I I didn't even continue with it it just looked too dangerous so I left it uh, this last battery here that when I put the cranking power on that just it went all the way down to zero this kept uh, turning off the um, the breaker that I had my uh, my arc welder attached to, so it just keep you know 
turning off the breaker so I just said forget about this battery there's something wrong with it internally it's calling a, causing a short circuit so I, I never bothered you know doing anything else so out of the six batteries I automatically eliminated these two batteries so going back to battery four um, while I was I think on the last round of of charge look at what happened the screw got so hot that it just fell out. I didn't even notice it until after I went over and looked and, and, and the, the welder cable was on the ground and the bolt was on the ground. And I thought to myself, gee, that's, that's kind of weird. Like, why would it get so hot? The, the other, you know, I gave it plenty of time to cool down. So I figured there must be some kind of problem here, high resistance going on here that caused the heat because this was one of the batteries that was swollen. One of the batteries that I had had sitting around that I had never actually used and it was all swollen here so I figured well there's something going on that's causing this to heat up far worse than the other batteries so um, that was interesting so anyways after that the next day I decided well let me do another round let me do another round with these three batteries at least well while I was doing another round with these batteries to see if I could improve it further uh, the same thing happened over here. This one overheated and the bolt just fell out and I don't see any reason why it should have because it was getting plenty of cool time, you know. So anyways, that's my uh, my results. Uh, does it work? Maybe a little tiny bit. Is it worthwhile? I don't think it is for me. Um, I depend on these batteries for my electricity and it you know might have gone up from from week to week okay in some cases but you know how long is that going to last the battery is going to poop out on me when i need them most so i'm not going to waste my time with these batteries hooking them back up to my my uh, solar panel system i'd rather just trash them and buy some new batteries okay it's more expensive but uh it's more reliable as well